by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create randomly filled squares to create maybe a pattern or a brush, that sort of thing. Now, first thing to do, and I'm just going to go by a 4x4 design and just go to View, and I'm just going to go for New Guide Layout. Now, I've gone for 4 and 4 there, so you just set that to 4 and 4. Click OK. Next thing to do, just go to View and Snap. Just make certain that's on and snap to guides. That's the key thing. All the rest have to be set off. Now, just guides. Now, go over here to, I'm using the rectangle tool. And I'm just going to go for options. So I'm just going to go over here and I want it to be a square. Obviously, that's a square over there. So I want it to be a square in there. So now, set a color and I'm going to go for pixels. I'm not going to go for layers. So pixels, set that and then just randomly select colors. Now you can go for obviously all blues or maybe go blue, red, green. So I'm just going to just drag that across and you can see it nicely snaps into that little grid. I'm just going to go for pink and you can just go then over. Obviously try and keep the uh, colors so they're, they're different above and below and all that sort of thing. So you just go for just a random mix of colors and I'm going to quickly go through these. Purple, light pink, a blue, maybe dark blue, orange. Now another thing you actually have to be careful slightly about obviously is to make certain that the color there is not so you've got orange there, you've got blue there. You don't want orange there and orange there because, of course, when you actually come to patterns, you're going to end up with that sort of... So you have to also be careful, obviously, the other side as well. So I'm just going to select that. Probably in some ways it's actually better to, to actually fill the centre first and then just go around the edge and make certain you avoid doing that because it's quite easy to do. You suddenly put orange there and you put orange on the other side without really thinking what it's going to look like. Of course you can always go back. You can always recolor it very quickly. And again, like I say, blue, yellow. So like I said, I could just go and select that green now. And of course it would match the other side. So brown, you can, now, nearly finished. And yellow, or oh, green, I should say. Look more like yellow. Anyway, right. Now I don't want that because I've just suddenly I've done what I've just said I shouldn't do. So you can see what happens, you get end up very, very close. So I'm just going to quickly go over that and replace it with a pink. Right, so once you've actually got that, then of course you could just go over to Edit and Define Pattern. Click OK. And now what you can do, you can go to Layer, New Fill Layer and Pattern. Click OK. And of course you can resize. So you can go 50, and it's still obviously a pattern, so you can actually see the pattern. You can actually see that at least it doesn't seem to be any errors there. And you can do, do the same, 10, and so on and so on. So you can actually do that, and of course you can actually flatten it, but it's flattened there, so obviously since it's pixels, if I've been using shape layers, obviously I would have had to flatten it. Now, what you can do, you can actually just go to Image, Adjustments, and apply maybe photo filter so you can change warming filter maybe or cooling filter and so on and so on or maybe use adjustments and hue and saturation just move that across you can see a whole range of different ones and of course at any point you can then go now sadly there's no feature here to actually save define the pattern within this but you can just obviously have to click it and go out and then define it and of course you can also use colorize that's another option and there you have it you can actually define that as a pattern again right hope you found this of interest actually before I go there is also a well there should be for certainly at one while a free set on the graphic extras website of square patterns now what i do sometimes i put uh, new sets every couple of days so that set will be gone but it'll be back again at some point Anyway, hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.